So in this tutorial, we'll be building a simple macOS menu application that can be used as a template. In this tutorial, we'll be covering the following. Uh, how to set up your project to allow for this, how to add a status item to the system status bar, how to connect both a NS popover and NS menu to our status item, and then finally, how you can extend upon this in the future. Let's get started. So to give a little bit more context on the application that we're going to be building, um, you can see that we have an emoji here in the status as the status item. And if we left click this, you can see that we get an NS popover. And there's this button here. And if we click it, it changes. You can see that the status item changes to a random emoji. Um, and then if we, if we right click, you can see that we get an NS menu uh, that pops up close to the status item and we have the option to um, to close so what i have here is i have the project for this and rather than starting new i figured it would probably save time if i just started with the application that i already have and then just go over the code um, so the code is only in these two files for the majority so it's not it's not too much to go over um, and the first thing that you need to do in order to get your application to um, operate like a menu application is to go into the info.plist under your your app target and not the test targets. Um, and what you want to add is this um, this row right here. So application is agent and set that to yes. And the way you can do this is you just right click add new row. And then you say application is agent. You can just press tab to autofill that. And you can see that I already have it, so it's complaining, but you basically want to make sure that this is set to yes. Uh, the next thing that you want to do is go into the main.storyboard. Um, and previously, if if this is your, if you just created the project, you will have an arrow um, right here on the main uh, window controller. Um, yeah, right here. So it should look like this. Um, and what you do, and what this does is basically this, this says right when your application starts that this, it should present this window controller. Um, and it's going to, this window controller is going to present this at a view controller. Um, so this is not what we necessarily want because we want our application to live solely in the menu. Um, so what you can do is you can just select this and then just press delete. So the next thing you want to do is select your window controller and then in the details panel, click on the fourth tab and give it a storyboard ID. So I named my main window controller, uh, but it really could be anything. Uh, and then do the same thing for the um, view controller as well. Okay, so now um, go into the app delegate. And the first thing that we're gonna wanna do is just define our status item. And what we're how we do that is we just reference the system status bar, so this bar up here, and we're going to call a method to create a, a new status item. Um, and we're going to be able to define a length, and I tend to always just use variable length, but you could also do square length, um, and technically you could also just provide a value um, in here as well. I'm not sh too sure on the threshold though i know there is a set size here i believe it's around um i believe like 30 pixels so you can experiment with that but i tend to just use variable length uh, the next thing you want to do is just to find a popover um and we want a certain property on this popover and this property allows allows the um the popover to be closed automatically when the user clicks off view. Um, so clicks on another window. That is generally the behavior that 
a lot of um, NS menu or NS popovers have. Um, so this is definitely a good proper behavior to have. Um, next thing is we fetch our storyboard and with that we fetch our main window controller. Um, and if you're familiar with this step in iOS, usually we can just initialize our view controller directly from the storyboard. Um, but in Mac OS, we can't really do that. So we, we get the window controller from the storyboard and then we gather um, our view controller from the content view controller property from our controller. And this uh, content view controller, we're gonna be using it as the content view controller for our popover. So we're reusing this, this view controller from the storyboard. So now we want to set up our button for our status item. So set up this button up here at the top. Um, so what we do is we set an action and this action is a selector called status item clicked. And you can see that here. And this basically controls um, how our popover is shown. Are we showing a menu? Are we showing the, the NS popover? Items like that. Um, and we'll get into this in a minute, but I wanted to mention that this function here is changing our, our status items uh, button image to an emoji. And the way that we did that is we extended the status bar button um, and we added a function called change status. Alternatively, you could could have just had this as a normal function in your um, in your app delegate. Um, but I decided to add it as an extension. Um, so basically what we're doing here is we're it takes in a string and we're calling uh, emoji to image on this string with a size of 18. Um, and I'm not going to explain this too much, but basically the gist of it is that we're turning a, a string into an image here. Um, and we assign the, the status uh, bar buttons image property to this image that we just created. So the emoji image. So that changes that so this basically sets our initial image to this um, to this mask emoji. So the next thing is we can go a little bit deeper into um, what happens when our status item is clicked. And you can see that we have some logic here that defines, you know, is right click. Um, and basically what that is, that's an, again, an extension of NS event. And it's basically a computed property that checks the type and if, if it's a right click mouse event. Um, Cause that's important because we know when we left click, we wanna show the popover, but when we right click, we wanna show the NS menu. So you can see that we have um, a local variable assigned here that that looks for this. And if this is, if the current event is nil, we're gonna to default to false. So it's gonna show the popover on default. So if it's, if the popover is shown, we want to close, right? Um, and if it's not a right click event, so if we're left clicking, just show, um, just show the popover. And you may be interested in some of these settings here. Um, so for instance, something to note is this is the way that the popover is going to um, is going to um, like reference. Um, so if we set this to min x, you'll see that when this launches that the popover will be farthest to the left. So you can see that it prefers to go on the left side. So one thing to note though, is if I do max X, you could you would expect it to be on this side 
of your screen like this, this outline. Um, but that's actually not the case because there's not enough space here to fit this. So it actually defaults to the min in this case. So it, it would appear the exact same as this. So we'll change this back to min y. You, you can expect max y does the same thing because um, there's no space above it. Um, so if it's if so if it is a right click, we're going to show the menu. So what we're doing here is we're grabbing the mouse location and we're also grabbing the screen size. So up here would be the highest, I guess, pixel Y point. So we're grabbing that and then we're subtracting basically the height of the, the status bar. And then we're adding a little bit of a margin to it as well. So that's to position, I guess, this window that you see here directly below the, the, the status icon. So here is our, our, our content rec for our window. And then we're setting up a temporary window, borderless, buffered, and deferred. Um, here we construct our menu. So we have an info um, item, menu item, and it, it doesn't have an action. And you can see that that causes the, um, the menu item to be grayed out, uh, meaning it doesn't do anything. And then we have a selector, and then we have a quit, which, which references uh, the NS application terminate selector. Um, so then we call a uh, menu popover, and we're not trying to position, I guess, the menu in our window um, any more. So we, we just provide um, zero positioning. Um, and then we provide our, um, our view that we want to show the menu in. And that is that does it for I guess popover and NS menu logic, um, the showing of those. So now let's discuss this view controller. And if you didn't already realize that this view controller is actually what we're displaying in the popover. So we're displaying a button. So we we def initialize a uh, an NS button and we set that this uh, property translate auto resizing mask into constraints to false because we want to apply constraints ourselves and we add it uh, to the sub view add it as sub view and then we set up constraints um, it's important that you set up constraints after you add it to the sub view um, and then here uh, in the setup constraints function, we we ensure that we call activate on these constraints because if we just had these like these like this, this would actually not do anything. It would not be an active constraint. Alternatively, you can set is active equal to true, and that will fix that. But I think this is a much cleaner solution. Um, just call activate and just pass in an array of constraints to activate. Um, so this is our selector for our button. So when our button is clicked, uh, this will run. And what we're doing here is we just define an array of an emojis and then we, we get a random index uh, referencing the emojis array. And then we, we reference our delegate. Um, and this delegate is this right here and you can see that we we reference our our status item and then we from that we get our button and then we call change status on the button and we're just basically getting our random emoji so that makes it so we're changing our status item to a random emoji each time we click that button and that is pretty much it um, if you enjoyed this tutorial, feel free to leave a comment or a like, um, be much appreciated and thank you.